I had no one to talk to. And now I'm stood here feeling like I'm the one in the wrong. Jesus, Ian, I was just so stressed all the time, you know? Mark would actually ask me how I was, if I was all right, how I was getting on. I'm sure I had no idea how I was getting on. You told me things would get better and they're just getting worse and worse and worse. Couldn't go back up there. She kept going on about the smell of smoke off me. Sure I'm working in a pub. What does she want from me? So that's when I started to go to Mark's flat. I told you that. I told you. I told you that. I told you that. I told you I was going to his. I told you I was going to his flat. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did not think anything was going to happen. I did not think that there was anything there with him. Okay, but one day he just came in and he, he didn't even say anything to me. He just came in and was, I knew. I don't know. I only realised when he came in the door that he was... I didn't want it. It was quick, it was quick, it was quick, I'm sorry, it was quick and we didn't mean to do it, we both felt so bad after, I'm sorry, Ian, Ian, it was literally one time, it was a one time thing, it was one time and I am so sorry, I am so sorry and it will never happen again, I've never seen him, I've never gone back to the place, Ian, Ian, look at me, look at me, Ian, please, please, look at me, look at me, look at me, I love you, I love you, I do not love him, Ian, it has only ever been you, ever, really, please, Look at me. Ian. <laughs>